Well, hello. Hi, Hi everyone. Hi. This is not goodbye. See you later. Hello, be episode five. Oh, that's also good news. Good. I'm off work tomorrow, so I can just get fucking smashed while we watch Kenobi. Whoa! Why would you do My that? Because it's, I don't know. Maybe I shall have a single shot just to help. Give me some. It's for Give me. courage. Give. I'm having some whiskey on the cock. Rocks. I'm gonna leave my plushie here to talk as I run away. Where's yeah. my plushie, Jay? Yeah, Where Jay. Is it? Oh no, in the fucking mail. Mine Whoa. is Well, that's either. not true because it's I mean, not my, in my, my mail. My prototype one is here, but my delivered one isn't here well, yet. Okay. Well, well, Jay fails once again. Um, so enough of enough pleasantries. Now we'll talk about yeah. the horrors. So Yay. <laughs> we have consumed four whole episodes of this show, which is actually quite a bit of it at this point. Um, yeah, it does. Such a weird world we live in where the TV shows are done almost immediately. Like, mm -hmm. man. Well, six episodes is uh, short. Any of you guys used to, like, when, when you were much younger, watch, like... 22 episode shows on TV weekly? Uh, absolutely. Like yeah. It, like, that was normal. I mean, 24. My parents certainly did. Season, and that's that was thing. pretty common. It's crazy to me to think now because it's just like, wow, that's like four of these shows. They were <laughs> cranking them out. Was, like, it yeah, was but, like, we got to make this shit. We got X amount of time to make episodes. We got to go, go. We got to make them. So, what I find Considering... interesting is there's a perceived increase in quality from less episodes per season, yet this show. And a lot of those Disney Plus shows yeah. have a lot less episodes, I, and they're still not good. I think like, stuff like Band of Brothers would have encouraged people to think, like, oh, when they're miniseries and shorter and stuff, they're much more focused, they're, and, they're delivered as a Breaking strict Bad story. Too, yeah, yeah, Breaking, Breaking Bad, Bad definitely. Like, all the, all the sort of dramas that have, you know, that have that good reputation and were, like, serious and trying to do the serialized story, like The Wire and The Sopranos and things like that, they're the 13 episode ones. Mm-hmm. I mean, Daredevil was 13 episodes too, but then we decided, you know what? Not even 13. <laughs> Not even 13 <laughs> anymore. Six. Not 13, and also it's shitty writers. That's a good combination we got there right now. Because Fantastic. they're still making like that many episodes of Star Wars show a year. Right. But instead, they they're dividing it up into different shows. They could have made like, hey, here's the show that's the trip like between the trilogies show and like Obi-Wan shows up and like episode 10 and you're like, oh, cool. It's Obi-Wan. I wonder if there's budgetary is, is like a factor here because they're so expensive each episode. That they they don't want to do more than that. They could have made you know sort of seven episodes of Book of Boba Fett, six episodes of Obi Wan, and how many episodes of Mando? Eight. So like twenty one, twenty two episodes of TV that they've actually made this year. If they've made uh, that, not made um, year, right? If they haven't, that's over or at least within of... the last three hundred sixty five days, right? That, that that's really. Um, there's no Mando in the last year. Mando is over a year. All that we've gotten is Book of Boba Fett and this. So, oh, more oh like man. 13, 14. <laughs> Star Wars fans eating good. Well, still, they could have made like a 13 episode season that was um, with that nope. money that was. Hey, here's stuff that happened in between the trilogies. It could even have been about Boba Fett and Obi Wan. They could have both been in it. This whole um, marriage, or, or not marriage, maybe, but uh, TV shows combining with movies to make miniseries. That's the, that's how I see it, anyway. It's just like, look at this. It's beautiful. It's like both. You get the benefits of both longer movies that are really well made, and you're like, okay, cool. But then um, they're not focused at all. They they waste the fuck out of all their time. We watched um, a movie not long ago, and one of the things that we were commenting on about it was the fact that they could spend so long with two characters having a conversation about something to develop their relationship and how important it was. And uh, and, and and Kenobi like the, our favorite stuff was mainly just him thinking about stuff and doing things in a very like quiet and sorted manner. Now I think uh, I would be correct in saying that when he in the, dare I say, second portion of, of the first episode was done with um, his meat mining or whatever. I think when he got called by Bale, I don't know, um, it was it, w it was just said that it's like, well, that's it for that. You know, it's all over now. Yeah, I think it was Jay who had said that. It's all, it's, it's all plot from here. I hope you like that. You got your five minutes of sort of character, kind of, and My that's money done. is on Fringy, actually. I think he was the one that said it. But, uh, Wait, um, what did I say? Jawa to show up. Ooh, Jawa, I, think, Jar -Jar. I think we're done with the slow stuff. Plot's about to begin. I think it was Jay who would said that. Though we'll, you know, we'll, we'll get like one or two scenes in episode six or something, probably. It's like well, to remind the audience that there are characters in this show. Well, to pretend as though they do. I'd say it, it, that is kind of interesting how it's like, yeah, we got to hit the brakes on that character development. We've got plot. <laughs> You've had enough character through. for yeah. one day. 
we gotta have we got planets to go to and lightsabers to swing and blasters to shoot. We ain't got time for any of that fucking character crap. Well, what I will say yeah. is that, uh, unlike the last episode, which, as was stated in our preamble, uh, that it got bad reviews from a lot of people who typically like the show, this next one, it's getting through-the-roof reviews from lots of people. Wow. Lots of people love this one, and it's like, you all say, right. You say it, get it, it got bad reviews, and I thought that meant it was safe to shit on it. I think that, <laughs> not, that, not that that changes my mind when I'm shitting on something or otherwise. Getting... But I thought, oh, this won't get any pushback. Dude, so you chose one of the roof. like worst parts of the episode, the stupidest bits, and you got in so much trouble. Yeah, so I, much I, trouble. I literally posted the con most conspicuously stupidest scene, and I was like, lol, this is stupid. You got in so much <laughs> trouble, by the way, the, the start of the real BBC after that, like, the first super chat I think I saw there was someone talking about your tweet, and it's just like, how is this happening? And it's just like, it became a full <laughs> topic, your tweet. It got everywhere, loads of people saw it, it's just like, why is this controversial? <laughs> like, what, what's happening? Like, we can't agree yeah. that this is stupid, we're doomed. If we can't agree that this is really dumb, A lot of people doomed. seem to have read it, because I, I posted that scene with the caption, for anyone who doesn't know, uh, pictured serious production in brackets, not parody. And <laughs> which is funny. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people who um, don't have good reading comprehension thought that this meant that I was saying that like Star Wars has to maintain a deadly serious tone at all times, and that comedy isn't allowed in the show. But it wasn't comedy. It was serious. Well, no, yeah, it was. It was a serious scene. A lot of people are insisting that no, actually, the scene is supposed to be funny. Okay. Which seems right. like a strange place. <laughs> it seems like a strange Inject comedy. A strange yeah. scene to choose to make a comedy scene is. Hey, you know this child who's currently being uh, rescued from a base where she was going to be tortured, and like she got really close to being tortured. Let's uh, let's have an escape scene where she's uh, smuggled out of that base. And it's like, oh, so that would be like a tense scene, right? Or maybe a uh, Maybe, maybe dramatic? Right, dramatic or tense? Oh, like Those seem like intense laughter. Okay, what if we make it a mm -hmm. comedy scene where we laugh at how stupid the scene is? What if, the, oh, if that, what if that's in between the child torture scene <laughs> and the um, <laughs> child bonding with guy who rescued her from torture scene? What, what if we put that in the middle of that? I think one of the things that you do need to consider is that I think that this scene was meant to be laughed at because it was so stupid, right? Because they needed to really build up a sense of levity before Wade is killed, which mm. is a very, very serious and somber moment. Because, Correct. You know, we all know Wade, and oh, it's a really talented very, way very serious. to yeah. do drama is to trick the audience into feeling they're safe, and then to take someone like Wade from them. I thought but Wade would be with us that till the end. I did to the end, all the way until the end of episode 9, what? we'd have Wade. No, Wade's he, probably he, in the party, yeah. When he died, my mood went Wade down. I, um... Aww. I'm preemptively insulted, because I know this is gonna be the case. They probably won't even mention Wade in the previously, and no, that's gonna be fucking unacceptable. Because there's gonna be people who may not Why even know. Why would you preempt that? Why would you I don't even... That? Because... I don't even think that they are remember in bad the faith. Well, I... You know what? I'm it's not impressed bad. with the show so far. I think they're gonna make the mistake of saying nothing about Wade when, like, could Kenobi really have done any of this without Wade? I don't think so. I this think is... that the fact I remembered Wade's name, I th I don't think they remembered. I don't think the writers. If you told them who was the guy who died in episode uh, in episode four, they'd be like, uh, Wayne. Wayne, <laughs> dude, I love the idea that you're like. Oh, Kathleen, I love your work with Disney Star Wars. I think Wade might be my favorite character. She'd be like, yeah, yeah. Who's that? So anyway, you guys ready for Wait, so, 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 sh sh comment so, showcase? So, hang on, so, so oh, this, showcase. The, this episode is going to be the one that's like through the roof yes. and praised right now. Yes. So I this... think it's almost safe to assume that this is going to be a flashback episode. Uh, well, I'm not going to say anything, but we have been saying that would be a smart decision forever. That they should use the fucking actors they have and fl flesh out things that require it in the prequel era and just do something that every fan would want to see. I don't even mean in a way that's mm -hmm. meaningful. I mean in the standard fan service way of, I want to see them in their outfits from the Clone Wars. I want to see them fighting droids. I want to see them being friends. Mm -hmm. Do it. Mm -hmm. 
So I think it might be more than that. I think they might, instead of doing a flashback episode, do like a force vision or something. Uh, either way, the obvious thing that they were definitely going to do in this series was have Hayden Christensen and Ewan, Ewan McGregor together in their like prequel costumes filming a new scene, right? And if they didn't do that, they would have been mad. They would have been like, insane. Um, I yeah, would have thought, I, I would have suggested might, a whole prequel episode, but I don't think they'd do that. I think they might try to do like a force vision where like Obi-Wan is communicating with Vader or something and it's um but they're you know they they look like they used to because it's not really happening so they have an excuse to do that so anyway comment showcase today will have to be about episode three because four isn't out yet I can't believe it's gotten to the point where Family Guy gave more respect to Star Wars than Disney does <laughs> I've seen that one, actually. <laughs> it's true. It is so true. It's true. It's actually true. Um, it's really true. Most people even say, like, Blue Harvest is worth seeing. It's, like, fun. I think Blue Harvest is great. Um, uh, the other ones, not so much, but Blue Harvest was cool. American Dad to do the Phantom Menace. <laughs> American Dad to do the prequels. That'd be no, great. They, they said, uh, they said cl the, the Cleveland show. Nobody wants the Cleveland show. Yeah, but, okay, yeah. Fringy, the, the difference there is that the Cleveland show is bad, and American no, Dad not. is good. What I'm saying is that that was the gag at the end of um. Oh, yeah, the, yeah. It's a trap. It's like, yeah, I think the Cleveland show is going to do those. Who's going to do the prequels now? Then, uh, not the Be prequels, the sequels. I would watch. I would watch American Dad do the fucking sequels in a heartbeat. Oh god, yeah, that'd be fun. <laughs> Absolutely. Given Kenobi buried his lightsaber, forgot he can do mind tricks, can't fight to save his life, and essentially let his command of the Force atrophy. I can only assume his plan to protect Luke was to spend 19 years practicing a wide variety of animal screams <laughs> to scare off any potential threat. <laughs> He's got a great Jar Jar one prepared for Vader. Nice. <laughs> oh, Annie, it's you! I imagine if Vader shows up and then Obi-Wan goes, Oh, hello, Annie, me's a Jar Jar Pink! <laughs> then uh, loads of Star Wars fans would go, Man, this is goofy, and that's that's what that's I look good. for in Star Wars. It's yeah, good. This, this is, is good. good. Star this Wars is, good is always because, goofy. Yeah, this is the good because uh, bumped his head on the. Yeah, yeah. bumped his head. How the hell did Leia get a Senate seat after this nonsense? She's caught dead to rights with someone that Vader and Palpatine have a personal grudge with, let alone just being a Jedi. Yet we're expected to believe she'll be left to operate within the system for nine plus years after this. Can't wait for the 15D chest to explain this. Yeah. I'm a member of the Imperial Senate on a diplomatic mission to Alderaan. Yeah. After all this, yeah, after this, that's she does. Less yeah. and less. That just doesn't make any sense now. There's no way or. Organas are going to be able to have Senate seats after all this nonsense with no. Obi Wan Kenobi. They're going to get killed. Downright impossibility, but who the fuck cares, right? Three grown male Kitnaras took forever to catch Leia. Obi couldn't keep up with her when she ran from him, but Leia couldn't outrun Reva for a second. The power of being a woman. Oh. <laughs> <Gee>. <laughs> One of the kidnappers was a was like a, an alien lady, right? Yeah, there was yeah, a woman trying one? to chase oh, Leia. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but there were two mids. But the power of men, the they. They dragged the down the power of <laughs> and sapped her speed and agility and Bastard. her feminine grace. And so they were unable to catch they have a They have a like a, an area of effect minus three to speed and intelligence. <laughs> yeah, and it does, you, does it stack? You bet your ass it does. It would be oh, funny. It's, it's, uh, it's actually multiplicative. What's that called? It's um, exponential increase in the effects. Yeah. Imagine uh, Leia sees Reva and she's like, you know, it's too late. I've got you now. And then Leia just turns around and starts running. Reva's like, you can't escape and starts running. And then she just realizes through jump cuts she's actually losing Leia. She's just falling behind. And she's like, what? Is what? This? <laughs> like, what? But, I, but I can see her. I'm watching her. How, how does this? It's like it's like some Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the hallway keeps extending really far. And she's just like, how, what's happening? Yeah, Stop. it gets to a tiny door at the end, and little Leia can fit through it, but she can't. She's like, what happened? How come this hallway is so small now? And she looks down, and there's a teacup that says, drink me, and then yeah. she drinks it. And then she shrinks so she can chase Leia. And Reva goes and on this okay, whole crazy... Star Wars has always been Yeah, so it goes on a crazy adventure through what the lad, and the episode ends with her being like, I'll stay here. And then the credits roll, and everyone's just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's fine. Well, it's fine because Star Wars has always been goofy, so that fits. Yeah, there's a tea party at the end with the Mad Gungan and the March Tauntaun. <laughs> the Mad Gungan. Rags. They're going to have to try to get worse than this. Episode four. You underestimate my power. <laughs> Don't try it. But yeah, episode four was pretty bad. Did we conclude which we thought was worse, three or four? 
Uh, four. I think, uh, wait, probably, I had I said that character-wise, episode three is worse, but logic-wise, I think episode four right. is worse. I think, yeah, I think yeah. we did four. Well, episode you've three. You've got to remember that episode four parody. does still continue, with, like Obi Wan being really dumb. Yeah, but there's moral components to Obi Wan's uh, assassination in episode three. That's the true. meat shield, him not seeming to yeah. care about innocent people. Like Obi Wan really being like, sort of I know, I'll shoot myself in the head to save the day. It's like that's one thing, but when he's like, "Oh no, innocent people are dying." Uh... I don't know whether anyone answered your question regarding whether the public knew Vader was Anakin in the Disney canon Star Wars comics. Anakin is seen as a war hero who died saving the Republic, uh, now Empire, from the Jedi, and Vader is seen as a new enforcer for the Emperor. Vader specifically goes out of his way to kill enemies and allies that discover his real identity. There's a comic where Vader kills an entire squadron of clones for learning he's Anakin. I think it's safe to say Reba should not have known Darth Vader as Anakin without being brutally killed. So apparently <laughs> that is okay. a thing, that he would he would want to erase anybody who knows that secret. Uh, okay. Which is interesting. Of course he can't get to Why? it. Why? Well, because I guess so few people know, and it it's something of a vulnerability, I, maybe, that Darth Vader would see it as, or just wants to keep it a secret. Um, Why? He's just a little embarrassed. <laughs> he's he's he doesn't want to be associated with like the cringe that he said when he was 12. One time as Vader he told someone that he was Anakin and they were like, "Oh, Anakin. Oh, I I remember you. You said you should I'm haunted by the kiss you should never have given me." That was you, right? That was cringe, bro. <laughs> he's like, "Shut oh, up." No. No I, no, I mean, I wasn't. No, I wasn't Anakin. I, I'm, I'm gonna kill you. But yeah, it could be. It, there could be any reason for why he feels that way. I guess. But uh, yeah, hopefully, we'll get our answer as to why Reva knows and whether or not Beta knew that she knew. I have no clue how they're gonna make it so that she would have witnessed enough information in Order sixty six and survived it and become a Sith Inquisitor without Anakin being aware of any of that or anybody being any aware of any of that. Because that's gotta be the way she finds out. I doubt she was told because fucking nobody should know. Or at least nobody should uh, be making aware of the fact that they know. Because yeah, apparently Anakin's mean to people who know. I'm willing to believe that. I, I just, uh, uh, you know, it's not really been explored in anything live action. That, that reality. Because when Luke is doing his whole Anakin flumes, Vader's not going to just kill him for that, because he kind of likes Luke. You know, he's like, oh, you're my boy. I'm just going to chop your head off. People defending Obi-Wan's incompetence and stupidity because he spent 10 years in the desert probably defend Joel's imbecility because he's got soft and rusty after four years living in a small town. True. I'm assuming you guys remember. It wasn't that long ago. The Last of Us 2. Joel got fucking... Yeah. bludgeoned because he did a bunch of stupid things in a row that he wouldn't normally have done and people were like, yes, but he was in a small town for a while. He got rusty. I remember that <laughs> A small very town clearly. that was regularly ravaged by different hunters and uh, scavengers and zombies. Like, right. He got, he got rusty. Ah! I prefer the vision of stories like where we have Taken with a mild-mannered father character who's just chill, but he has a history of having done maybe wet work for whatever EIA mm -hmm. slash blah blah blah, and then uh, he's totally fine, totally chill, but he's a bit socially inept. He can make some mistakes here and there, and you're just like, oh, well, you know, because his skills lie elsewhere. And then when things get serious, he switches on, and he's like incredibly threatening, powerful, and yeah. skilled. Because I like he's that got, as an archetype. Yeah, he's got all of that training, all of that experience. Instead of being like, Man, it's been it's been four years. You're useless now. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Okay. There's like four of those Taken movies now, isn't there? Oh yeah. I mean, I like the first one. Yeah, like, <laughs> I, I only remember the first one. I think the second one had like a stupid thing with a grenade or something. <laughs> the third one had the thing where it took sixteen cuts for Liam Neeson to get over a fence. Hey, it's tough to get over. A <laughs> fence. <laughs> oh fuck! I remember that. Yeah. Did any of you guys uh, see that in the cinema when it when it came out? No, no, I no. haven't seen it. Taken, Not Taken that. three. That's Taken the one, one where they were in. Um... Oh, oh uh, Taken one. I didn't see it in the cinema. No, no, no I think I saw it later. Um, I'm pretty sure I did. From, from memory, and that moment where he says, I told you I'd find you, that shit was, like, top-tier good, like, entertaining. Yeah. Where he, he works so hard to get oh. to that one guy on the phone, and when he finally gets to him, 
And he, like, it kind of even sacrifices his position of power in the scene, but he's just so fucking happy with himself, he's like, I fucking found you. <laughs> like, it's... Mm -hmm. And then, um, he does a pretty good job of actually getting through that scene, fight scene choreography-wise. Like, it's not, it's not cringe, you know? Yeah. It's not just the choreography that's so terrible in the fight. This should be a monumental moment, but the way they shot it is horrible. Amateur, cheap, uh, looking, with the score being so bland, it's all just terrible. Uh, yeah, it really is. It's, uh, they did a terrible job, like, cinematically of, of doing that mm -hmm. moment. And I, th I think the fact that it's in a quarry becomes much more lame because of the fact that they shot it so shittily. I think you can make a quarry cool. <laughs> Maybe. You can absolutely um, make a cool quarry. You know, in Bespin, it's like an industrial carbonite chamber. Just because that's sci-fi doesn't automatically make it cool. It's more so to do with how they shoot it and what's going on in there. I don't think the probe droids were intended to be weak to a single blaster shot. In Empire, even though Han and Chewie shot the probe, Han is immediately suspicious and says that it's self-destructed. And Han shot it three times, or at least twice. And is proficient with a blaster. Everyone is famous for hating blasters. Yeah, Han shot it multiple times and then comments on how he didn't hit it hit it that hard, so it must have self-destructed. I oh, did thanks. forget that. So uh, that could be one of them awkward, you didn't rewatch the scene memory things, right? Where you're just like, yeah. probe droids can get knocked out with... Because remember, I made fun of um, stupid hat guy for saying, he destroyed the probe. I was like, yeah, it's one <laughs> shot, so whatever. Like, <laughs> you that shocked? But it's like, oh, maybe that line does make sense, because maybe it's not supposed to be one shot to kill a probe droid. Probe droid? Yeah, I said it. Did he shoot it, like, right in the middle of the weird lens eye thingy? Well, sure, but like, even then, Are they, like, you know? implying... Like, like, I'm just trying to find a reason why they would do it that, that way. So maybe it's like, oh, this is the weak spot, obviously. But then again, if the, if he got if another one got shot multiple times and it didn't do anything and it's self-destructed, it's like, eh, nah, I don't believe you. I just don't believe you. I mean, you know... The lens is the weak spot, Metal. It wouldn't even be... Shut up. ...a shock, but I'm pretty sure we can all agree. It's probably true they didn't rewatch the OT before writing this shit. All the prequels. They oh, were yeah. just like, yeah. I remember them. I know what happened. Obi-Wan is like, eh, you betrayed the Jedi. That's an option. Hey, maybe they, maybe they were on their, like, second monitor as they were playing oh, Destiny <laughs> 2. <laughs> oh, no. Destiny 2 <laughs> I'm disappointed Obi-Wan didn't just climb the nearest mound of gravel and shout, It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. <laughs> I like the look that would have been goofy. Where, like, it, 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 it does a, a wide cut with no music, him just scrambling awkwardly up the hill, dislodging. Yeah. Oh, and he like, keeps, like, sliding yeah, down, and slides, Vader's yeah. a bomb just looking at him, like, really, dude? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I had this prepared for years. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he he it's over, and then like he starts sliding back down again. <laughs> God damn it! I still have the high ground. Then he slides <laughs> slowly to the ground. Okay. <laughs> just finds like a little ground. stool and stands on that one. It's like, ah, I have the high ground. I'm honestly surprised the writers actually had enough restraint to not reference that in some way. Maybe, maybe they'll reference it when they fight again, inevitably. True, that could happen. Uh, regardless, I don't feel irregardless. Like, I feel like they're trying to play those scenes seriously, so any goofiness in them will be accidental. No, any goofiness would be acceptable and great. Thank great God that one stormtrooper bumped his head. Oh yeah, the bumping of that head has enabled all of the shittiest writing in the world to happen, so... I'm imagining, I'm imagining, like, one of us gets a time machine and then goes, like, <laughs> just to... Oh, but by the way, you know, the, uh... <laughs> Doc! Get down! Or we just, th we just figure, like, we can't make it obvious that that's why we're there, so just ruin the take. Just, we'll just we'll, when that, that particular take, just go... All we, all we have just, to do you know, is... Just, just, uh, just raise just... the door a little bit earlier. Just before, just right, right before it normally would have opened. Just hit the button so that it's high enough. He doesn't hit it when he walks through. Find out who that extra is, chloroform him, and take his place. <laughs> You'd think that a stormtrooper would miss the... Door. Oh. Nice. Nice. Oh, I get it. You don't get it? I'm smart. <sighs> I said I do get it. You don't get it. Oh, yeah, Jay didn't get it. it oh, you. that's so sad. We intercepted a transmission on Balnab. This base. <laughs> Balnab. Secret network. Yeah, the, the planet names have been funny. Wasn't there one called Beans or something? <laughs> yeah. Beans? <laughs> planet Beans? <laughs> No, Instead of a water nice. moon, it's a yeah. bean moon. <laughs> <laughs> it orbits planet Jeb. I have officer clearance. I can get you inside and I can get you access. It's a good thing there was this hole at the bottom that you could just swim into. Oh, yeah. Well, she opened it up, right? Because she had control of everything and she didn't... Oh, that part was so dumb. Oh. All right. 
Oh, Wade! Oh my god, they no, showed it! Wade. 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 No, Wade! 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 Alright, maybe this show will be good. Maybe this is the good episode. And he yeah. fell in the water. He's waiting now. No. Uh -uh. Evil! <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. See, that, by the way, is evidence to me that this is a kid show. Because they always say oh, that. Well, yeah. Racco, that's it's got right over the line. Yeah. I can understand people justifying that with, well, kids need to be able to understand what's going on. Yeah, that's, well, that's the thing. If someone said to me, like, is that an actual criticism? I'd be like, not necessarily. It's lame. I, I wish you'd give more space for people to actually interpret what's happening. I guess it, it might be a problem, though, because if someone looked at that, they're just like, hmm, why are your eyes red? All well, the lights stuff? have changed, yeah, <laughs> which isn't, in, that's not very good for your intuitive, like, spy droid, I guess. Yeah, exactly. I guess you could, you could form it in the criticism. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. oh my God. I was right. Here we go. I wonder why people like this one. <laughs> I was beginning to think you weren't coming. Wait, have they not de aged them? Damn Anakin still looks chance. like he's got his rankles, which is okay. I think they have. Yeah, they have. You mm. sure? So. Are you? This isn't even the one that people like. They're in the Attack of the Clones. This is Attack outfits. of the Clones, yeah. Yeah, you can see, still see his, um, he's got, uh, this is not a problem, by the way, for an actor to have it, but he's got his, uh, crow's feet and, and forehead wrinkles. Which is okay. Yeah, I noticed that, yeah. I'm fine. I, I wish to normalize using the actor but older. It's okay. Yeah, uh, it's fine. It's okay. Especially when you look as good as those fine. two. Okay. But um, it's weird because Disney usually do the day de 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 and stuff. It is my great honor to be invited aboard, Lord Vader. I am not interested in civilities. Where is he? He's arriving on I have things to say about his voice that I oh, didn't before. Beans. Yeah. Wait, so they, hang on, did they let him well. go just so that they could track him? Because, like, he was the thing they were so, interested in. to lay out the timeline, when Obi-Wan went to the proto-rebels to get their help, it was only the spy lady who came with them. There was no mention of Wade or the other person <laughs> coming in to save them at the end to get them out of there. No. Nevertheless, their plan was to get in save Leia, and then escape. That was their plan. Somehow. But Darth Vader's plan was obviously to, like, confront Obi-Wan and, and kill him. He's explicit. He says, That's get Obi-Wan. Yeah. I want you to get Obi-Wan. Yeah. Obi-Wan is all that matters. Well, no, my, qu my question what, is... Um, my no, question no, 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 he's laying out the timeline, Jay. Calm down. So the reason why this is important is because Reva, everything that she's doing is all about that objective, as well as, you know, like, finding these um, proto-rebels. But, like, when Obi-Wan and Leia escape, and Darth Vader stomps in furious that they got away, that seems indicative of this absolutely not being what they wanted. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, oh, I I made the, the drone evil, so it's going to track them. That was like a last-ditch effort to, like, a contingency. I don't know why she would do that, but I mean, I can't fault her for doing that. That's right, exactly. Thing. It doesn't make so sense why, that she did it. So, Nobody would do that. So, uh, so if she didn't let them go on purpose, then... No, no. No. So she not. wanted them. She wanted to stop them, but they. What, yeah. What, what would it because, mean? Well, no, like, no, the well, reason so I think that, this is because people on Twitter have been fucking what, justifying well, so, it for ages. With they were let go on purpose, like what, all fucking weak at me. And they're like, not well, let go on purpose. Think, think of it this way: when Reva confronts them on like the landing bay, what are her means of allowing them to escape without raising all suspicion that she wants to track them? She doesn't know that anybody's coming in to save them. I mean, Obi-Wan didn't even know that anybody was coming to save him. Mm -hmm. well, like, uh, how can it be her plan to let them escape if she was to well, maybe, confront them Maybe she the assumed that they, would, that they would actually have a way to escape set up that was <laughs> not fucking stupid. It's not stupid. Surely they can't actually well, be this dumb. They must have a plan. If you remember, sure. they're all they're being shot at by everybody. Uh, they're getting close shaves constantly, and they've all been commanded to stop them. Like, it's, you know, it's a dumb scene because they get insane, insane plot armor, but... Uh, yeah, that was not intended. There's something that's interesting, As brought this up, and I completely blanked it. If you- Vader should have had additional issues with this, because what is the most likely thing that's going to happen when you have Obi-Wan, Leia, and, and this girl leaving? It's like, well, they go to the Rebel Alliance base, right? And it's like, no, they drop Leia off with Lola to Alderaan. That's the most likely thing that's gonna happen. Which doesn't yeah, help you guys so, at all. Well, yeah, there's a there's an assumption that it's going to lead to the proto rebels, when and it will, not really, obviously. It because... will. Because that's where they are going instead of taking her back to Alderaan. Imagine they go to a big ship, and then another ship comes in. It's just a representative from Alderaan, and Leia gets given to them and takes Lola with her because, of course. And then 
yeah, they follow the ship back, and Bale's like, oh, hey, Empire, what's going on? Now, ignoring all the other problems that they would actually talk to Bale, uh, yeah, that, so I was just surprised. I was like, oh, yeah, Vader should be pissed at her because that was a really fucking stupid decision, even though it was a lie, which he should know as well. He should know that that's a lie. He uh, should absolutely it's massive incompetence point. that could have cost everything. Uh, so yeah, it's it's all fucked basically. But yes, Jay, uh, it was not intended. It was just a yes. cover-up. Yay! The arguments that you have received are just the case of the show has said this, so I accept it as the uh, as the explanation oh, no. for what's going on. When it's not that simple when it comes to story. Impenetrable forest. The explanation. <laughs> impenetrable forest that someone walks through. It's like, well, they said it was impenetrable. It's like, yeah, they did. <laughs> is this yeah. break going in the episode? <laughs> oh, this, yeah. yeah. This is all information. Yeah, yeah. It's not the first time we've done this. <laughs> yeah, we, we remember we paused a lot on the finale for oh, Mando yeah. because it was it, piss. Also, just think about it. I don't even know when she put the tracker in there and changed the lights. I like, when should that have been? I think she holds it for a moment in the uh, in the interrogation. I remember that very well, clearly because everyone one. suggested she was going to do something. Star Wars is a world where it's as simple as dropping like a little booth on it. Like you put a little thing, and it'll probably be evil. Like that. It's that's probably. Uh, you remember uh, uh, to restrict droids? They put those little um, cylinders on them. Inhibitor chip thing. Yeah, like it's it's making them evil though. probably has the same system. How does Leia still have it? That's the more. Yeah. Oh, that, yeah. Just yeah. Imagine she fucking it. dropped it on the way. <laughs> Everyone well, no, lets her I keep mean, it all the time. The fucking <laughs> dumbass did. mercenaries let her keep it too. Obi Wan rescued her from the torture chamber, and then they left. So, did they take a detour to save her droid, or was it like with her in the torture chamber? You know, yeah, like, it's part to, of the you, torture is knowing if, that your droid watches you get tortured. If we're being good <laughs> yeah, yeah. faith, we have to actually assume Reva was holding it, and she was like, "Man, imagine Leia escaped. Well, maybe if I just put a little evil thing on this, and then I put it back in her pocket, so that in case she's taken." Which is dumb, because that thing could probably help her escape the torture device. But then again, it was evil at that point, so I guess it wouldn't. Yeah, I don't fucking know. Yeah, evil things don't help you escape torture devices. It's they so... help put you in them. This is what I mean, like, uh, when you are a shitty writer, you start creating so many problems to have to solve just because of your initial stupidity. Yeah, it yeah. It's like... They just layers and layers on top of uh, everything. No, 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 you, no, but that's the beauty of it, Mola. You just don't have to solve them. Ah, oh, great. No, you can just create cool. this to happen. This. You know the reason why you don't have to solve them? A stormtrooper bonked his head on a door. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, yes. true, yeah. Bonk, bonk, bonk. It's okay Checkmate if it's done and it doesn't make any is. sense and there's no rules or like logic. the visual of the stormtrooper bonking his head is going to pop up in the edit quite a bit. Fuck! We should add a different bonk. sound effect every time he hits his head. I'll skim through a whole bunch of video game sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you need the one from Smash, the... Yeah. His oh. big hat, his big fucking hat back there. <laughs> his hat is so big. <laughs> Baseballs. It is. It's a huge Where hat. The tracker worked. He's arriving on Jabim as we speak. You have done well. You have done well. Wouldn't you want to verify this information? Is she no. gonna get made Grand Inquisitor before they even check or verify or anything like that? Grand. Inquisitor. Oh, fuck off. Wow. Yay. That, wow. Because of... Okay. <laughs> I have your Grand Inquisitor badge. There it is. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's magnetic. Evil looking. It's magnetic. Yeah. Set of course, it, Captain. It's, it magnetically it's like a fridge bag. To her <laughs> leather. Wait, so she had the information that they were found on Jabin, which funny but um they had to wait until she walked up and waited for her appointment to announce it to then chase them that sounds pretty stupid yeah it probably mm. would have like no obi-wan is never right away it would be an active ceremony. tracker that they have on screen and they would just be like where is it going and it's like oh this system go immediately so i assume this is gonna like kill the rebellion right if the, re the the infancy of the rebellion is here and the tracker is here they're fucked i don't think they care about that these people could all oh, die okay. and it'll be like don't worry that was just one we got her Element. Where's Wade? <laughs> They're all waiting for Wade. Like, where's oh God. Wade? Maybe they Wait, will Wade, mention Wade. Wade. Why are they tidying up? Why is he they in the all closet? Care? Weren't there? Oh, they didn't mention Wade. No. Why is Wade in the previously if they're not going to mention him? Haja. Oh, oh. He's here now. how are you alive? Oh yeah, that's Wade. right. She just let you be go. alive. After I saw you, I got into a fight with that scary lady Inquisitor. Now I'm wanted by the Empire. Oh, he's wanted by the Empire. The if only Which is why Reva, Reva let him go, yeah. He was already he wanted. wanted. He was pretending to be a he Jedi. Was. Yeah. was he not he aware that being a Jedi was bad for business? <laughs> Your health? 
Yeah. That transport, I need to get her back to Alderaan. They've been waiting for months. We used a no trade route to get them out. We only have a few hours. We'll do whatever we can to help. Oh, okay. So that's our excuse to stay here. We can't go back home yet. We have to remain here. We need a whole episode here, okay? Get ready for dust off. Leave anything you don't need. All right. I mean, it's not that many people. That shouldn't take too long, right? Just yeah, I board. assume. I need it, my yeah. Xbox, okay? I need it. <laughs> I need it. Yeah. Not only do I need it, mom says it's my turn. Everyone. Lock down the facility. If we seal them in now, they can hold out for days. Fine. If we cannot break, okay, is it? it is not them we need to break. <laughs> oh, look, it's evil. <laughs> oh, no, they're from oh, no. oh, it doesn't. Oh, it sneaks around. It's all sneaky. The, that thing is a robot a, acts suspicious. It's the writer's wet dream. It can do anything it wants. How did you open that? Wait, no, no, yeah, no. How, how did, did it open, open that? that? <laughs> it's closing, now. No, it's closing on. on its own, too. <laughs> did they give it the force? Oh, God, what's it going to do? Oh, remember, because it has a saw, it can chop up uh, yeah, it's cables. Yeah, like a little, little oh, saw God. or something, right? I've installed force.exe. Stop oh, putting your names you. on the walls, you idiot. Yes, yeah, stop doing stop that. Stop doing that. It's really dumb. Yo, Frank was here. I live in Tatooine. Come visit you me. You just leave these around? Those things are worth Whoa. a fortune. Wait, what? <laughs> those are a fortune. Yeah, each one of those lightsabers, their value is insanely high. Who? who Jedi Rose. Whose collection is no, that? Wait, who are, Don't wear those. Like, Do not wear the robes. I would imagine that you could sell a lightsaber on this like galactic and live like black a market king. for like yeah. millions and millions I could, of yeah. dollars. Yeah. Absolutely. They're like dinosaurs in Jurassic World. Oh, what's it doing? Oh, it's just electricity crackling. Oh, great. You cut the wires and it closes the... Okay. Oh, you can cut sure. through that. You have sure. several lightsabers. What's happening? The, the controls aren't responding. The Imperial destroyer just arrived in orbit. Oh, yeah, you're fucked. What? Yeah, well, they're dead then. It's Vader. Yeah, you're dead. We surrender. He'll kill us all. He'll attack next. He has the patience for siege. <laughs> If you make a mistake, you're dead. Well, yeah, sparring with live lightsabers is an interesting choice, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I guess they must be practice sabers, that thing that we continuously have to head headcanon. Yeah. I assume there's a way for them to train without killing each other all the time. No, just next to that is the severed head room. I just have a really No, bad... no, no, more. More. Wait, why the Everything. <laughs> two transports, Everything. really? Two. Why? Okay. Two. Wow. Why do you the have all pretty. of this military? You're going for a planet, my bro. To use it. It's a planet. You don't know how many people are down there. Everyone. I understand you're scared. I understand you're scared. You're scared. The Empire <laughs> will attack soon. If we try and fight them, we will not survive. Oh. Thanks, bro. <laughs> cool, thanks. Them. We just need to hold them off long enough to get you all out. How much time do you need to override the doors? Three, four hours. You have one. He did the beam. He said you have one, one when he said I need three or four. <laughs> I, I why, why did you ask if you're just going to tell me that's, to do it in one? That's not how it works, Obi-Wan. How long does it take to like drive to X location? One hour. You have 30 minutes. It's like, what are you, what what are are you saying? I, I gave you information. You just said no. <laughs> drive fast. Why Oh, fucker. Why did you ask me if you already didn't care what I had to do? <laughs> I hate that shit, man. Well, no, no, knowing that that's not long enough makes it more dramatic, and that was the most dramatic not... way to reveal the oh, information. Okay. Why are you not bombarding this entire planet from orbit continuously for like a day? Because Beta wants to kill Kenobi himself. He wouldn't yeah, want they to could, blow up. Oh they my could goodness. Oh it. man, that's, that's so nervous. Well, they I mean, have, this is, like, so, they're in a battleship and you're we, putting a fucking girder on the door. We need to uh, establish, by the way, this is Obi-Wan and Leia's fault. Yep. Yes. Or at least they have some bearing of responsibility on this for not having thought about a tracker. Because this is horrible, horrifying. Like, those Especially people are about to get killed. Especially because Obi-Wan used a tracker to find Jango. Yep. He knows this trick. Well, and Leia falls for this again in A New Hope Watch now. That's what we've door. established. Do you guys want to form, like, God, that ranks? Looks, that looks so or... fake. Establish cover. They don't do that no more. I'm guessing. Yeah, this there's just no Rita. there's no combat tactics in Star Wars ever. It's just we're just gonna stand here. Yeah, you're right. That formation is weird. Yeah, like you need that to form out of place so you too. can shoot that over each other. You need to establish right. yeah. barricades. Man, Reva's so epic. Fire! Oh. I missed! <laughs> uh, because I'm a stormtrooper. Light him up! 
Don't make any scream. I'm so tired of screaming bad guys. We need to hang a roof open. Yeah, you know what? I think he's trying. <laughs> but if you open the roof, aren't they just gonna shoot missiles into it? That might be protecting you. Well, so, the, like Rags, I'll, let me help you out. The Ryas are saying this opening is our escape, even though that doesn't make any sense because there's a fucking Star Destroyer floating yeah. above you. The Star Destroyer's like, oh my God, they're, they're opening it up. They're opening it up. <laughs> no, out there. they I couldn't open it up. Oh, well. I'm going to need a ladder. What? Not play time right now, princess. Do as she asks. Oh my trust god. Me. Wait, what did she say? I, I need a ladder. She's a ladder. They, they, uh, they need to the go thing. up into the fence to try and figure out what's wrong. And How is Leia going to know what to do? Quick. I don't know. Leia. I have no idea. Hard. But, but it would be that she'll go up there and like, Oh no, Lola, why are you evil? <laughs> and then they have a boss fight. <laughs> I'm a little too big to be crawling around in the vents. Would you like to try? Do they not have mechanics or people who understand this facility? No, they do. no one's small enough to fit in that vent, which sounds like bullshit to me. Why the fuck's the vent got all the important technology in it with a place where nobody can go? Oh, an adult can fit in there. Fuck oh, off. They don't even need to fit in there. there. You can reach in. You can just reach in with your arms. Why would it be that you can't access Wait, any of the technology? Why she immediately started fucking with the wires? Yeah. Does she so know yeah, how it works? Someone had to put the wires there well, in the I'm, first place. I know we said no communication, but your silence worries me. If he's learned of the children, if I don't hear from you soon, I'll head to Tatooine. Owen will need help with the boy. So okay. if you think he's caught, why the fuck would you send him this message? You if they've are caught him, they've dumb. caught that device. You fool. Jesus yeah. Christ, you are stupid, Bale. Fuck. Oh my god, they ruined Bale! They ruined Bale! This is all assuming that there isn't you know, someone in the Empire tracking Bale and well. they just follow him and find Luke. Yep. Yep. How did they find us? Not, they lied. Okay. There were four families. Yes, yeah, so let's give a decent amount of time to give her character. Four That's the important thing to do. And we, we gathered them up. Gonna be honest, lady, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I don't even remember your name. I didn't know who they were. I didn't. <laughs> you're not. You're no Wade to me. You are sub yeah. Wade level. Wait, are we doing Walking Dead logic? Is she dead? And I couldn't this do episode? anything to help them. Quite possibly. Should you both be doing something like adding more barricades so to the I door? Or yeah, the, the reason why out she's out this is because uh, the guilty conscience. So if what? we establish Everyone this now, she'll get a heroic sacrifice. Yeah, she's seven. gonna die. <laughs> mm -hmm. See, in a better yeah, show, it wouldn't be this predictable, but... But you can fight to make them better. Oh, and she's giving him inspiration. Uh, that's great. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that, that's another tick on our bingo card, by the way. We're yeah, trying. he's inspirationless. Wait, wait, also, hey, can you all stop fucking around? We need help. Us. You know? Well, yeah, now that we've done that, she can die. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, he's got a chewy, uh, uh, okay. uh um, Boca. Yeah. He's got a chewy. Is that <laughs> he's got a chewy gun. He's got a chewy gun. <laughs> I mean, kind of looks like the doors are fine. It feels blowy. like this isn't doing much at all. Are they just going to talk through this thick door? You can't hear him. <laughs> Use the force. There you go. Lord Vader will have you at any cost. You knew who Vader was. How did you know that? Ooh, we're addressing it. Vader would have kept that hidden. Oh, look at them. Wow. And you're too young to have known him. Unless you were there. The Knight of Order 60. There's probably kind of a lot of kids that they man. that they captured and converted, right? You saw him. You Enough! Saw him. Well, we haven't learned anything yet. We knew all this. <laughs> we get the flashback? Yes. <gasps> there you go. Master yeah, Anakin, what are you getting? I like how, yeah, the, we called this in the first, like, minute of the show. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, one of them is oh gonna be in God. the show. Bad, okay. They're showing him killing children! <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. Still bugs the fuck out of me, they had Hayden Christensen, and the, this is all they've done so far. I tried to help them, but I couldn't. When he left, I played dead. Play dead. Wait, so he tried to kill How'd you, you play dead? Up? Yeah. With the bodies. Okay. How could anyone make that mistake? Yeah. Like he what was right, she do? Just she fall, was right fall right over here. and be like, oh, you got me. <laughs> oh, she had a uh, heart attack. Okay, heart let's attack. leave. <laughs> they were the only family I knew. And he slaughtered them. Yeah, that's rough. So why'd you kill everyone? Yeah. Yeah. What's up with that? You are hunting him. Why would I? She actually wants to kill Vader secretly. Thing. Do you really want Anakin dead? Where were you while he was killing my friends? Well, I can he answer that. He was, on, he was on Utapau, getting fucking yeah. killed by his own clones. Yeah, yeah. Order 66 happened. I mean, you just... He's like one of those Order desired 66. kills. How do you not know this? You've got to be an idiot. What do you think? Do you think he would have let it happen if he was there? I don't need your help. I don't need 
anyone. Yeah, there you go. That's why she's angry at him. She's having this conversation in front of a lot of troopers. No, it's quiet yeah. enough that they don't Ooh, hear it. Door. It's fine. Don't yeah. worry about it. Get to the door, Max. You the fucking lightsaber can go through. What's the point of the other weapon? Wait, what? Oh, oh, okay. Long time not doing that. Oh my god, he's using a force. <sighs> Enough character, like time for plot. Oh my god, there's a lot of stormtroopers out there. <laughs> yeah, but seriously, you cannot be Obi Wan's plot armor right now. Reach. He will kill no. all of them. Are you using like a tank, or why are your ship's cannons not shooting into there? How have the stormtroopers won already? Yeah, they just need to fire like one barrage and like. Yeah, it's all over. You can't dodge that many at once. We talked about this. <laughs> like, that's how it works. Like Obi-Wan cannot dodge the all of them. World War One strategies here. Walk forward slowly in a line in the open, all right? Look how close. How are you alive? Like, oh, guys, this grenade. doesn't work. Yeah. We gotta change They are a meter up. away. Oh, you're right. Why oh, the that, fuck isn't anyone isn't throwing a grenade? Proof? On both yeah. sides. Why don't they make their armor out of that panel? Seriously, oh, you've you've hit my brain now. Either side with a grenade. Oh, God. Wow, holy shit. Fucking shaky camera fucks me they off so much. They have little shields. Whoa, that, whoa, God, they have these little pieces of metal that block all blaster shots. Obi Wan, just keep no, fighting them. You can't the be shot. It's better if it's harder to see what's going on. Are you listening to me? I feel like you're not listening to me. Would you stop talking? Yeah, so, does man. Leia know how to? Well, and does Leia know that everyone's oh. lives are at stake based on what she can do there? I mean, people are so dying. Quick. Lots yeah. of people are dying. It's weird you know? to cut to a, like being. Oh, the Loader droid's gonna have a heroic sacrifice, isn't it? Loader droid's definitely dead, and they're gonna appeal yeah. the fact how are you that not they probably just, know at this point oh we end up God. liking the droids more than the people. You're just standing there hoping you don't get shot. Yeah, they even have. Standing. Yeah, get to cover, you fucking idiots. Yeah, Jesus Christ, Christ. everyone's an idiot. What? Uh -oh, uh -oh, How are uh -oh. they that close? Uh -oh. Heroic sacrifice. Uh -oh. Heroic sacrifice. For Here sure. and the loader yeah. bot, they're gonna have a heroic yeah. sacrifice, yeah. So they're not just shooting it to bits? They, Look, yeah, there that's go. what happens when you stand in the middle of the hallway, you yes. idiot. Fucking moron. Oh, Obi-Wan, you're only a few meters away, so yeah. he would save it, right? He would get like in front? The, 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 the laser, the, the, the sword. Where's Obi-Wan? What's he doing? Oh, he's just watching again. Oh no, they're dying! They're Why were the Wait, Obi Wan did nothing for like ten seconds. I saw that show. You can't get away with that. <laughs> oh, oh wow, no, we're we're, we're going full uh, emotional to Rogue this. One. Yeah, but Rogue One had a Rogue whole movie one, with the K two S O. Yeah. And also, K two S O had dialogue. And they shut the gate, and we're all annihilated in the cold, dark vacuum of space. Not me. I can survive in space. It's a robot. I don't care about this loader. Um, it's not alive. I care about the loader. I care more no, about the I loader can't. than her. <laughs> <laughs> I care. I I care more about the loader than her. Yeah. Yes. Run oh, towards. Oh no! Obi that Saber. one stormtrooper pushed Kenobi too far back to help her. <laughs> you had a grenade. You had, you had a grenade the whole time. No, of course, you just shoot it and it closes. You had a grenade this whole time. May the force be with you. She said, "May the wow. force be with you." Use the force to push it Throw away. It. Throw a grenade. Throw a grenade. That's what they do. Oh, you had a grenade. You're right. If she had thrown that at them and then the loader bot took the brunt of this explosion, she might have survived. Shut up, Obi Wan. The strategy is when you're far away from enemies, is to <laughs> hold onto the grenade. I can't. <laughs> I can't. This guy didn't give a fuck when Wade died, but oh. Dude. Why is it so, so hard for them to do action? Point. They weren't a choke point and everything. That would have killed so many stormtroopers. Yep. And Fuck even when they came in. Ugh. Is they Jedi Man the Luger? Fuck me. Dum 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 dum. Kenobi is already ours. <laughs> oh. This is a way better fight than they had in the last episode. Admit you are beaten. See the parallels? It's over. It won't make a difference. They want all of us. Vader wants me. If you surrender, she died for I was gonna say, what do you think is gonna happen to these people, Obi Wan? No, yeah, coming. do you think yeah. you're just gonna leave? He knows I'll do everything I can to protect these people. You Ooh, should do that. Oh, that's. He knows I'm virtuous, you see. <laughs> it's like. All right. He expects me to surrender. He knows I'll do everything I can to protect these people. Oh, so there are like 10 lightsabers just around? <laughs> you can, yeah. Also, yeah, you're right. You could just take it other way. You want to tell me how you're going to fight without a weapon? There are other ways to fight. So I'm going to go ahead and bet this is dumber than just attacking them because of your insane plot armor. But that's, that's just a meta knowledge, I guess. I don't believe she knows what she's looking for. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's so stupid. It's like, I hope she don't see me. So, like, if the thing cut wires, how are you gonna, like, reattach them? You need equipment and tools in order to do You'll that. You'll press a button, Rags, and it'll fix everything. Inform Lord Vader. Kenobi is ours. What, what, was, that? So weirdly? what was that weird bow thing? Yeah. I don't know. He's on his way. I remember when Kenobi was really cool. You're gonna die soon. You're not bringing him to me. I'm bringing him to you. The stormtrooper. That stormtrooper is very close. You're right here. <laughs> like, what are y'all talking about? I like Greg yeah, over there. Is like, like hey, man. Children. You know they're facing forward, but their you eyes are looking to the right. Again. What? Stop with the shaking of the camp. Fuck. Yeah, this shakiness. Stop. It's this is a calm, mm. serene moment. They intended to film this what? scene with a tripod, but they forgot it. Are you gonna let him do it again? What he did to you. We could end this together. I can't believe they're actually talking about killing Vader right in front of a stormtrooper. And apparently the reason why this plan might work is because he'll be just so distracted with Obi-Wan that he won't notice that Rover's gonna come up and stab him in the back. Oh, he's, no. gonna, she, yeah, he's gonna get snoked. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. I don't want anyone to get snoked. Okay. Where's it, why, wait, where's it going? No, the other one. <laughs> Dude, that's two stormtroopers. We saw what happened with the girl with two stormtroopers earlier, remember? He has the force. Obi-Wan can use the force. He has telekinetic powers. Damn. He chopped his leg off. Yeah, yeah you guys you nearly <laughs> killed him. There. Your weapon's gone. It's over. I used to have telekinesis. It's in my hand now. No need for victory, Anakin. It blinds you. I mean, he did I won. win, though. Yeah. <laughs> but I won. <laughs> <laughs> my need for victory seems to have secured a victory. I mean, that scene, the flashback scene seems to be in character with how they're characterized. The I'm okay with, with that scene so yeah. far. I have him secured inside, my lord. With secured inside? Myself. Why is he not secure out here? Why, why is he no, not right here? No, 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 no. Wow. No, unbelievable. No. It's insane. It's so insane. Oh, you could have just kept the him there in the dirt. This is the one thing we didn't want to happen. <laughs> <laughs> no. He was kneeling in the dirt and you had him, and for some reason you sent him alone with two stormtroopers <laughs> into a... Oh no, boss fight. Boss fight. Oh no. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Remember who you are. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Is she gonna Remember who you are. Oh, it was a oh, little. Oh, there you thing. go, evil, evil button. She just delighted everything. <laughs> it's just an evil thing. Oh my god, the show sucks. It's a little evil chick, and uh, she just pulls it off. Fuck me. What does that say about droid said, dude? Say <laughs> you've become evil. <laughs> but, uh, wow. But, uh, there you go. She did it. it. The droid was, was specifically there to sabotage the door, and she just pokes it with a screwdriver and it fixes it. Yep. Hey. Instantly, orbital bombardment. Uh, yeah, I love the idea of the Star Destroyer everybody. floating right above the opening, like, hello. <laughs> yeah, they look up and it's like the alien ship from Independence Day. <laughs> <laughs> well, all they need is to say there's one of those cannons from Hoth on this planet, and you shoot the Star Destroyer with that as they escape. That's all you need. An ion, yeah, like little stunny ion cannon. More people! Move, move, let's go! Oh, nice. Oh, no. Nice. Oh, Good job. You had no. one job, and it was to not oh, drop there. No. 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 Oh. Dude, that's the equivalent of the writer being like, what do you think of this idea? And we all go, no, stop it. Stop, stop it. it. Just slap Wait, him in the so face. Couldn't stop Reva it. have just opened those doors? Holy fuck! No, 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 he can't do that! He doesn't do that to the Millennium Falcon and Hoth, he can't do that! No, 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 He's not no, allowed no. to do that! No! Also, they're fucked! Yeah. What are they gonna do? What the fuck's gonna oh, be the reveal? Yeah. They're done! Jesus Christ! Whoa! Hey, <laughs> fuck. Shit. fuck me! What's gonna happen? Ah! Where was what? The there was what? No ship there? You used a fake ship knowing that Vader would use what? his force powers to pull down the fake what? ship? That didn't the make any ship. sense at all! There was no fake ship oh, there to begin with! Yeah. What the Second fuck? Ship. What the f What was that? Um... You'll need to prove yourself as your undoing. You haven't won yet. Yeah, I'll just get my other one. I'll, I'll, I'll just put, get I'll, yours. I'll get yours, yeah. <laughs> I don't understand the lesson there. Also, I'm glad we're alive. <laughs> I 
I, he's still the Padawan. Because he didn't know there was a secret invisible second ship? What the fuck? <laughs> what about the Star oh Destroyer? No, I know why this is here. This is literally just here to justify in A New Hope when Vader says, When I left you, I was but the learner. Oh, now I am the fuck off. That's it. <laughs> Kill her, please. Take her head Kill off, I her. beg you. Oh, God. I mean, okay. Getting wrecked. I'm okay with this if he's playing with her. He, he seems to Wait, be what? basically easily oh, yeah, taking her I got to, Okay. Oh yeah, they can do this, right? Dude, yeah, <laughs> spinny, goddamn, tism lightsaber. <laughs> Your edgy lightsaber is no match for me. Comes apart. That's just useful. Yeah. Okay, I'm all, I'm all right with this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beat her because she's shit. What was that? <laughs> What, is, what was that? Uh, yeah, that was that was all very that awkward. Whole, that was very strange. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, is she giving up? You got the Force Reva, right? You're still like alive, and there's. Oh man, why is it shot so show like? This flashback, then yeah. we wouldn't realize what that this is a parallel to what happened to her early in her life. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, he stabbed her as a kid? Wait, what? Wait, wait, he stabbed her as a kid and she lived? She played Stabbing dead. People she played dead. Doesn't mean anything anymore. I can't believe it. How uh, did Qui Gon die? I don't know. <laughs> I don't uh, know. Did you really believe I did not see it, youngling? You are of no further use. Wait, wait he I knew? Did you just say he knew? Back, if he knew, yeah. then why the fuck? Why has she been here the whole time? Hello, third sister. Oh my god. He's cringe. His fucking yeah. voice. Re revenge does wonders for the will to live, don't you think? <laughs> revenge does what he lives for. Shut up, of Joe. Revenge. It's the opposite of Leia dying of rage. sadness. He lived for revenge. <laughs> yeah. Your rage was useful. Now it is tiresome. She was useful because she was angry. If the was still alive, um, he must have told them that Reva did that to him. So why was she allowed to lead the assault? Because this was all yeah, a big like, what's the trick point in that? from Vader, even though he knew did, did he that she was like... Did he just wake up just now? Even though the trick worked because it allowed Obi-Wan to escape. Exactly. Like, yeah. God, Vader's a dumbass again. She's not dead. She's gonna survive. You need to kill her. Yeah. You got stabbed and lived. They're leaving. She got stabbed. They are actually and leaving. Alive. Is that her lightsaber and, and in the ground? It's parallels, Rags. She yeah. survived as yeah. a kid too. This is great. <laughs> He's got to do a hero thing in Episode Six, so. Gotta give her a chance for that. He's a murderer and a killer. No, it's fine. How many times do you think she could have killed Vader by just, like, getting the jump on him when they were near each other? That would have been a better yeah. plan, because she just tried that randomly at the end there. That's all that was. There were better times to do that, Reva. I can't believe they left the lightsaber This is so stupid. Why got stabbed in the gut? He died. Like, yeah, well. Shit, and she's amazing, and so is the other Inquisitor man. Something you're failing to remember, oh, Friggy, is sake. that humans have two stomachs. <laughs> but remember, revenge. Oh is a no, thing. no, yeah. no! I really oh, thought. Yeah, you, oh, when oh, she stopped good. moving, I thought she was gonna grab the lightsaber and then die, and that would be her last action. No, I was like, oh my I god, that's no, so tasteful. They dropped, the they dropped it, and there's oh, nobody. Oh my! Oh, couldn't have got it. What's she was you that. shouldn't be alive. He's, you got this stabbed in the bullshit. middle with a lightsaber. He's found and he's learned of the children. Tatooine. <laughs> She's just like fine. Learned of the children on Tatooine. Oh. I, I was always saying, oh, I've been stabbed. I better play this like thing that I found Fucking on the floor. Fucking hell, yeah. man. Wow. Bail Organa, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Holy fuck, this is crap. Are you okay? I'm sure it's nothing. You detected a plot contrivance in the force. <laughs> 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 oh boy. Fuck me, people like this one. Why? Oh, I probably didn't they said ask. this was good. People like this one because of the one good flashback scene, right? Yeah, I think that's it. Which that's was, the only thing they like. Which was yeah. an all right scene. It was okay. Yeah, Except it's for fine. the fact that they seem to nearly kill each other. Everything. Well, and I, I don't. I think I'd be critical of Obi Wan's lesson because he, he decided he won that fight when he hadn't yet. Mm -hmm. Hey, Luke. After he lost already, by the way.
Wow, what crap. Cool. So, where to begin? That episode was horrifically bad to the point where I'm that not even was... sure what the worst episode is anymore. I... Ooh, yes. I think this one what? is a little too important for it to not be the one that is. I think That's it's the worst because it, it hurts That's Vader significantly, it hurts Kenobi yeah. significantly, and it hurts Bail yeah. Organa significantly, and the lore of Star Wars yeah. significantly. So it's like, that's, oh, this, that's a lot of damage. Standard, the worst uh, one. Yeah, coupled with the expected bad plotting. Oh yeah, lots yeah. of terrible, terrible plot. Um, and this was the one that is getting well received. Yeah, and it's, it's specifically, it's I think, the reason... It's got to be because of the flashbacks, right? It's flashback, definitely yeah. that. It's, it's, that is yeah. some member berry shit right there. We really have crossed... The, the, you can't get more than this. Yeah. We've, we've recreated a scene from the prequels. We went... Back in the day, prequels was the black sheep. We avoid the fuck out of them. And now it's like, please like us. Look, we're showing you stuff that you like. Come on. This is one-to-one -one now. Yeah. It's, it's almost absurd. Even though it's the thing I was saying they should do. Because look at the results. Everyone's saying this episode's amazing because it's managed to distract them from... There's a strong chance they would have said it amazing regardless. It was amazing regardless. Maybe because so much important stuff happens. This is like yeah. a big focal point episode. Well, yeah, and, and I'm sure people consider what happened with Reva to be very, very meaningful as opposed to trite as fuck. Well, is the show aware that her entire motivation is hypocritical. Um, is well, that... I don't even know if the show's done enough for us to even figure this out yet. It hasn't explained why she's been killing well, everybody. Yeah, well, exactly, because no, she's um... participated in the regime. She's participated so, but, in the regime that took everything from her. I can't currently tell if the show is doing this deliberately or not, right? Because Vader's motivation was he wanted to, he had his own personal goals, and at that point in the Jedi Temple, he killed children because that was just something that he did in order to achieve his own personal goals. He didn't have, like, anything against those kids as... Um, well, no, he did hate the Jedi at that point, but, you know, his his own goals clouded his judgment to the point where he was killing children. Dang. Reva uh, is doing exactly the same thing. We, um... She is hunting Jedi, including children, because of her own personal goal, which is killing Vader because he did exactly the same thing. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think it makes more sense for Anakin to think I need to kill these children to to erase the Jedi and gain and learn about all the powers to be able to save Padme, as opposed to I gotta kill these children so that I can get closer to Vader to be able to kill him. When she's close to him like several times in the show before now. Yeah. And if you said, like, yes, but, but she's waiting for the perfect moment, it's like, perfect moment? She's had this moment several times. I don't, I don't understand. She did not times. get the perfect moment. Yeah, and it was clearly well, this not. Was the, the perfect, perfect moment time. would have been when both her and Obi-Wan were there. When he was trying to pull the ship down would be the, a really good yeah, moment. Yeah, no, you're right. That would be the perfect moment. Trying to really... Which, you know what, Rags? Uh, it's just convenient that she doesn't have that opportunity to attack him because uh, she should have been right behind him. There's no reason for her not absolutely. to be. Absolutely. It's just one of those gaps we just have to create for reasons. And yeah, seriously, and like, geez, watching Vader do that, I immediately thought of when he's watching the Millennium Falcon fly away from him in Hoth. And it's like, if this is 10 years later, and a lot of Force users get more powerful the older they are, you're telling me he was just like, well, there goes the Falcon. Mm. Yeah, so like that was a really um, viscerally satisfying scene, as in like, I enjoyed a sensation in me that that scene caused of like, man, this I can just feel the raw power. I hated everything that was happening. Like, yeah, yeah, maybe there I should was make just, that like, clear. a satisfaction in watching it being done, which I would love to see in a way that uh, didn't ruin stuff. Because um, people are probably going to bring up, it's like, Starkiller did this to a, to a Star Destroyer, and it's like, yeah, that was a bit extreme too, though, wasn't it? Like in Force, Force Unleashed. And it's just like, I think I'm on board with the idea of making it so that Vader had the power to do this, but we can't because of Empire. It's it's too yeah, late. They have locked that out. You can't have him abil uh, the, with the ability to do that. And that means you can't really have the ability to do that for anybody because Vader's supposed to be one of the most powerful Force users ever. So yeah, it really is kind of it's that sequel thing seeping in of the force is just a it's a cure all for any kind of plot need that you want it to do. It can do this now, it can do that. Force healing, force pull a ship, force random lightning, whatever you need the plot for. You just have that magic force that you could just use for whatever. Well, I'll go as far as saying as well that this is probably a moment people are citing as why this episode is so fucking awesome. But it won't age like the Rogue One scene. And one of the big reasons that I think, if you guys look at it again, it doesn't look very good. Um, no, the no, backgrounds look, look completely good. fake. The CGI is clearly like, it's okay. Half the fight was in a tunnel, a dirt tunnel. Yeah, and it's so arbitrary. And it's really and then, claustrophobic. And when yeah. more people talk about like, yeah, why didn't he do this to Millennium Falcon? It's gonna, it's gonna start being like, hmm. Yeah, I, can't, and, so, I, don't think, I don't think people are gonna care about that as much though. Some people do. They won't some even people. think about I it. Think, I think Most people won't think about it. Some people will care, and if you care, then some it's like, so won't. which one gets sacrificed? Empire or Obi-Wan Kenobi's yeah. show? <laughs> like at that point, which one's so, taking the floor? 
Are we supposed to believe, if you can see in the background through the mist, is that the ship that everyone is actually on and this is a decoy ship? Who was flying it? I don't know. Uh, the loader the robot? Droid. The loader droids. <laughs> did he not? Did he not sense all of the life that was on the well, other so, ship there? And if you just do me a favor, and is is that what we're supposed to believe? Is there a ship in the background there, or is that nothing else? Is, um, is uh, or maybe one meant to. I, it I, has to be. It has to be. Otherwise, it it wasn't here, and that would be insane. That like this went through all of the processes for post production, and like that was just not noticed. That has to be it. I think this is It's like right next to the ship when it I launches. I don't think logistically yeah. that can make any sense. Well, here's something that's worth thinking about. If he tears down the ship, what if he throws it at you? What if after you fly off, he just does the same thing to your so, ship? So, you're right, yeah. Like, why didn't yeah, he just do the exact same thing? Yeah. And by but the he, way, he let it go I hate to say out, it, okay. but you that's a knock out. against him for intelligence. Yep. If you're telling me he can... Why do they do this in this show so much? The seconds after establishing a power, they forget they have that. Who started the ship? Who flew the ship? Metal. I don't know. Um, the loader droid. Gus the loader droid's dead, I Jay. Remember. I think, and I can't believe we're having this conversation. Like this should never be the reality of your story. But I think we're supposed to assume there was a ship back there. They were all hiding in, and this one uh -huh. was literally launched to be like, "Lel, they'll think this is us, and they'll attack this." And then we will go. Like they don't launch at the same time. They wait until this one gets grounded. Or, and this is this is a Hail Mary, I don't think this is what we're supposed to think. Are we supposed to believe like it came out of this ship, the smaller one? Because if you remember, this is the ship that smaller ship docked like on, that. right? Or is it not? That was my immediate thought when I saw it, is that it looked like it came out of it. But that's just, if you look at it, that is not what's happening in this scene. Yeah. Like, it's behind it. it was like, and, 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 and with the, how it looked when it first happened, I was like, oh, is it inside it? Oh, no, it isn't. He should have grabbed the other ship. Yeah. So that scene was really dumb. No, he forgot that he could do that. I'm so glad that the the fake Jedi guy dropped the thing so that the final yeah. episode can happen. Yeah, so which, which, which means, also, by the way, also you saw that Bale sent that message in the first place. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's all, um, it's all, it's all yeah. broken. And uh, I've noticed that um, respeecher I think would have been fine for me if it were one or two lines. Have you noticed how all of his lines are delivered in what can only be described as the same way? The Grand Inquisitor means nothing. You have done well. And I guess what I mean by that is like, Kenobi is all that matters. Kenobi is all that matters now. We must go here. Prove yourself. It is not them we need to break. Yeah. You yeah. will become the Grand Inquisitor. You might be like, well, what's, what's, what's the problem? It's like, okay, some of his most famous and quoted lines from the OT, I'm assuming you guys remember, but the thing about Vader yep. is he fucks with words all the time in super interesting ways. You have failed me for the last time, Admiral. Where are those transmissions you intercepted? What have you done with those plans? If he could be turned, he would become a powerful ally. That imply a level of um, character behind them. Perhaps you think you're being treated unfairly? Don't fail me again. Admiral. The one, because I was talking about this on Real BBC, Gary referenced, and the clip will simply play, because why the fuck would I just not let the maestro do it himself? The Force is with you, young Skywalker. But you are not a Jedi yet. It's just like, ooh, that, that stings a little more. That's interesting. Meanwhile, if it was done with Respeech, he would be like, but you are not a Jedi yet. I am not interested in civilities. It's like in the one we saw the Skinwalker Luke in that episode of Boba Fett. Really? That's all you got? Let me help you. Or he just... Yes. Everything is so flat and tonally neutral and just devoid of humanity. What should I do about him? Have you heard anyone talk like that back home? I've accepted the truth that you were once Anakin Skywalker, my father. Would you like to remember? Can't believe he's gone. You will find balance as well. Get back up. Bro. I didn't hear you give any ideas. Always get back up. Yes. And it's... It, yes, yes, yeah, yes. It's this, like we're like... This, skin yeah, Vader. Is, you are free to use any methods necessary, but I want them alive. No disintegrations. Bring him to me. You don't know the power of the dark side. I must obey my master. You are of no further use. He will join us or die, Master. Lock down the facility. Indeed, you are powerful, as the Emperor has foreseen. Fail me, and you will not live 
to regret it. He will not be permanently damaged. I will bring him in myself. When you get told as a machine to say, apology accepted, Captain Nida, that's what it will say. But if you get told that as a voice actor, who's as talented as James Earl Jones, he'll say, apology accepted, Captain Nida. And it sounds way better. And uh, you'd get old Vader in Rogue One, and that's true. It's a little bit. Of, it's like, ooh, he's not. He's not quite there. But if you compare the Rogue still One deliveries, he's still got it. There's a great many things to attend to. My apologies. You do have a great many things to explain. Be careful not to choke on your aspirations, Director. Like that. Versus respeech that will be like, be careful not to choke on your aspirations, director. We leave for Jabim at once. If you only knew the power of the dark side. Are you suggesting that this is done with respeech? Eh? I already know it is. It's cited it in is. the credits. Oh, it is. oh fuck. <laughs> uh, um, it I'm, so I'm, I'm, I'm suggesting this exact thing happened with Luke, by the way. We were all like, when we first heard it, we were like, okay, that does sound like person. The more you hear the lines, then the more you compare with the old ones, you're like, oh, it's missing the punch of a human. Yeah. There's no human in there. Yeah. Even though, I'm pretty sure the process for it is that it processes a bunch of human lines, or it takes a human's delivery and then turns it into the speech of the, the patterns that we recognize. But there is an element missing, and it's become incredibly obvious every time you listen to Vader in any scene now. He sounds lame. Your feelings for them are strong, especially for... Sister. Did you really believe I did not see it? Obi-Wan was wise to hide her from me. Now his failure is complete. Accurate but lame. Excuse, but they not just hire James Earl Jones. He's too old or he doesn't want to do it or whatever reason you could think. <laughs> this is probably because a lot they cheaper, don't want to why sp yeah, I was about to say, why spend the money when you can just do this boring ass respeech and everyone creams their pants anyway? Mm -hmm. Probably literally is just money. We have this respeech program. Just use that. We people don't care. Be look what they did with Luke. Oh yeah. Who is probably the worst offender of the bunch. People fucking creamed their pants mm -hmm. on that episode where the skinwalker Luke was just a robot masquerading as a character and Shooting everyone's children. <laughs> yeah. Get up. Always get up. Always get back up. Always get back up. Uh stop. I'm not to say that the feeling of time that passes is like super off. How much time passes in this how much episode? Time passes, how much how, how much distance is between the planets? We get Obi-Wan escaping in the beginning. Then we see uh, Reva telling Vader that there's a tracker and where they are and they start to go towards Jabim. After that, we see Obi-Wan arrive at Jabim. After that, we get a different scene with Vader, where, she, uh, where they say, oh, lock them in. Then we see the base getting locked in, and then they say the Star Destroyer has arrived. And that's in like five, six minutes. And I was like, wait, how, when did this all happen? How long have they been here? Hours? They didn't address the Star Destroyer either. They just escaped. Yeah, because they just say, oh, the Star Destroyer is above the planet, and then they fucked off later, so that is gone. But then they say at the end, the Star Destroyer is after them, apparently, and they lost their hyperdrives. So I don't, they, they're it? fucked. So they're fucked anyways. Them. They should have just grabbed them. Kill just them. Grab, just shoot them down. There's so much <sighs> military on that. But you know what I'm saying is that uh... they, they just say, it's like, this happens, 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 but don't really show us how much time has passed. They just stitch the scenes together, and it's like, Okay, we're here now. Now we can have our scenes here. Because apparently everything is just super close together where they are, even though Obi-Wan apparently, from what I see and understand from the episode, they're like way ahead. Because if Reva first has to go to, to Vader's Star Destroyer, tell him, and then they start. And while they're on their way, they lock them in. It's like, okay, so I guess when the, between that, that scene and them arriving there, Hours have passed for some reason. I, I don't know. It's just hard for me to understand where we are time-wise or how much time has passed and how fast people are. It's just yeah, really weird. Fair. So try and picture this because I have no idea how any of this makes any sense. And this is part of the destruction of Darth Vader as far as I'm concerned. He went into the temple. He killed a bunch of kids. One of them played dead until she finally crawled out of the pile of bodies to become a Sith Inquisitor. Yeah. How does and that make any sense in terms of everyone would know where she came from or who she is, right? It would be all on record. Well, so she thinks she tricks everybody into thinking she's not a, a youngling. Oh. So how? Why? 
And then Veda's like, I, I would... did know you were a youngling this whole time, and we were using your rage to help. We knew you'd That's try and kill I... us at some point. It's lucky That's... that you didn't manage to kill the fucking <laughs> Grand Inquisitor. Yeah. That's why I what... stabbed you non-lethally, like you stabbed him non-lethally. What is that? Like, you're so Our cocky. Levels. Like, haha, we used your rage. Yeah, like, I nearly like... killed you. I could have. I, I just didn't what? apparently realize I you had two stomachs. Well, here's the thing. How long did he know all of this? Because what was his plan to just like, you know what? I'll just have her around to maybe lure everyone out. What? Maybe, you know? Absolute Keep nonsense. <laughs> the Emperor Why? would never have fucking entertained this. It's like, no, kill her. I don't think he would, no. And what, it, it what is that? Like, I played dead. You were stabbed in the stomach with a lightsaber you as a child. You, How is you it that you can died. play dead for that? What do, do these people actually not know what is contained within a human stomach? It feels that way, because this is the third instance in this show of somebody being stabbed in the gut and surviving. It's insane. Not only surviving, well, but we becoming, did, like, did, very did, capable um, of exerting a lot of, um, strength and jumping around and doing lightsaber stuff, too. The result of a gut wound is incredibly variable of course but the problem is just like try, it's a lightsaber it. it's a it, at least with a knife it might not uh take out it like like a lightsaber goes right through and burns yeah. and singes everything like it's we have an example of what a lightsaber does when you get stabbed in the gut uh qui-gon got stabbed in the, the problem gut with saying yeah. that is people be like oh yes the same scene where someone is chopped in half and survives <laughs> sure but that's Do you a have a clone. problem with that yes we have a problem like with that too <laughs> Whenever someone cites, like, oh, Palpatine, it's like, yes, that's also stupid. Yes, we yeah. think that's um, dumb. If you, you're bringing up the same dumb things survive. that we would also bring up. Anyone surviving anything now can be justified with, well, Palpatine survived. Yeah, yeah. so please join us no, well, on the yeah, team of drawing a line. The Stormtrooper in 1977 bonked his Ted. Yes. Yeah, yep. he survived that. that. True. Maybe. He survived that. He survived. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy who survived being stabbed because he wanted revenge. You, person that we literally recruited for revenge, I'll stab you and even... leave you here alive. It's it's so absurd when you actually stop for two seconds and think about what's happening here. I've never. It, it, what are they smoking when they're writing these? Well, so I think this is such a clear example of you can see what they're trying because in this situation it's like okay, so Reva probably would have died from that wound, and if she didn't, Darth Vader or the Stormtroopers or the Grand Inquisitor would have killed her. But we can't have her die, and it's like she or or rather, when you're watching it, oh, but she's not dead. There must be a reason why. Narratively, it's like ah, remember when Dinesh yeah. dropped the uh the yeah. little thing. The little transmission. Remember that Bale even did that, despite how perilous it was? Ah, it all makes Dude, sense. I mean, the world bends to facilitate the story that they want. That might be one of the, the greatest assassinations in the show so far. The, yeah, maybe. He, like would, he once, would say in, in the recording, I'm worried that you've been, like, captured or stopped. <laughs> so I'm sending this message to tell you I will take care of the boy on Tatooine. Hopefully they don't discover the children. It's Poor like, Bale. why would you do this? You couldn't even Poor be vague. Bale. Bale is just... Is, not even he escapes. No, he, it's no not done. even he Bale escapes. hasn't escaped. It's Bale insane. is done. He's finished. It's so he was dumb in the first episode, and he was dumb in the second episode, and now they've just the mm, this the little chef's kiss with a cream on the top, <laughs> with a cherry on the cake layer, whatever the ice cream on the alamode. It's it's done. It's finished. Bale's ruined. Bale's yeah, thoroughly dumb. ruined. Um, and it's what's so weird is that. He was already such a kind of a minor character. Yeah, you didn't he need was, to do his anything His existence to him. was so tiny. Yeah. He was important story-wise, but he had such a small presence in these movies, and they still found a way to drag him kicking and screaming out of his position of safety and ruin him. Who have they not brought back yet? Like, oh, there's still plenty. Jar Jar. Jar Jar, yeah. Qui Gon. Give it time. Which, by the way, it'd be oh, like I said, it'd be really funny if they actually don't bring in Qui Gon. I the think they that... will. I, I, he, he, nah, oh, he's, I, he's dead. The Force Ghost Qui Gon. Fringy, I think I'm, I'm totally memeing with you for the fact that you have said almost every episode that he's definitely I coming know. in. And it's just like, it would be <laughs> funny if they did because of all of the predictions you've been running with. Just leave him alone. I know what you're going to do. And it's oh, not. Oh, they'll make him much worse. Yeah. He'll, uh, yeah. he'll give, give uh, Obi Wan the final pep talk that pushes him back. Uh, uh, yeah, I. Being yeah, because he needs another. He does he need needs another, another pep talk. talk. He's not resolved yet. Well, he's, he's still got one more episode. He's been inspired by Leia uh, in episode two with, with some of the lines she gave him. There'll probably be even more to come from her. Then he's been inspired by, I forget her name. La Lady. Lala? La Ray Rala. Layla? Layla! That's like the song. It Ray. makes me think of a song. Layla. Rumbo. Uh, she gave him an inspirational Layla. little thing before she died, heroically. <gasps> 
<laughs> that was that was uh that was an easy prediction apparently yeah the, um, oh. Clapton, right? when will kenobi get to do s something that's more so about his agency because well, that's not a really dumb decision i'm just waiting yeah mm -hmm. know, maybe nice. one day here's a pitch right because we've got a problem right now which is the reavers told us i was stabbed along with all my friends i laid down i was dead and then i eventually just joined up with the sith inquisitors started doing everything they told me to do to hopefully get close enough to vader to kill him also i hate you kenobi because you let us all die in the temple and of course they're not going to do the intelligent thing which is make these characters fucking address the point. Have Kenobi say, do you have any idea where I was or what I was doing? I barely survived what? Order 66. My lizard what bit is... it. I, it was a really sad day for me. Because I, I want to clarify quickly. Wait, hang on. I want to clarify quickly other... that it's okay to hate him uh, from a character's point of view, but it would be irrational because you don't fire. have the information you need. Yeah, I can totally see the perspective of fuck you, Master Kenobi, you're like one of my heroes and you weren't there to protect us. I can see that, but you have to have him be like- Purely emotional. I was on one of the most important missions for the Jedi and I was betrayed by my entire squadron of clones. Like, I'm sorry I wasn't there. But you, yeah, you have to I'm understand, Order 66 I, wasn't just in the Jedi Temple. I could see that scene actually existing, and we'd be like, okay, fine. Yeah, I, I would like it. That's a conversation it. they should have, because Obi-Wan should have it's things the, to say. It's a this is part of his closure. I'd say it's a frustrating aspect of bad stories when there's a scene that's happening, and there's just sentences and things which should be said. It, her rage against Kenobi is what's stopping them from working together. So Kenobi should be like, look, you, you don't understand. There was a lot of shit going on there that you missed because apparently you never found out what happened to me during Order 66. Which is weird because you're a Sith Inquisitor. So, is there any reason that she's latched onto Kenobi specifically? Anakin was your Padawan. Yeah, I was I think that's say. her reasoning. Uh, yeah. I mean, he was also Where the responsibility of the, the Jedi as, a, as an the order. Council. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Let's, let's, let's not split hairs on how that works, but... Why aren't you... Are you angry at Palpatine? You should be angry at him, <laughs> exactly. right? Like, exactly! Like, what a, are we even... Are we gonna bring up the Emperor and Palpatine? You're so it's fucking like, right. We... Where is what? the rage for Where that? Where is this? <laughs> Who... Why are we not oh, talking Oh god, about imagine all... Kenobi said oh, like, Sheev. Yeah, I can see why you're mad at me. Are you mad at the clones? Or the people who ordered the clones to kill all of you and your friends at all? Has that, that played into this in any yeah. way? Are you upset at the Emperor? Like, well, yeah, I'm gonna kill Anakin. It's like, there's another guy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you've heard of him. The fucking Emperor of the organization that you work for now, somehow. And so, uh, well, what yeah. we're getting now Why is, is that- just not a rebel? Because like, she's just d dumb. Because we have to do- I, I, I think they yeah. may make her a rebel eventually. No, I, she I needs feel to like face trials for war crimes and torturing so, children. Shouldn't, she's probably going to be a good guy by the end. Good guy in quotations. Um, the problem being Story, is, yeah. is in the back of our heads the whole time, we still have no idea why she's happily murdering everybody. And if you wanted her to try and argue, like, I had to in order to kill Vader, it's like, we know that's bullshit, so don't even try that. Like, that, that, yeah. that, that's not even that's close. That's a lie. You've been killing people well after you've had the chance to attack Vader. So, no, you need a better reason. And I was just thinking as an alternative, imagine the reason that she was spared is not because she played dead and then submitted herself to the Sith Inquisitors without them doing anything to her, which I still don't understand. That doesn't make any sense to me. What if, and this is a bit dark, so maybe Disney just wouldn't be able to do this. What if she's standing there with, like, two other friends, Anakin's coming to kill them, he killed a few other kids in front of them, and she, out of, like, a desperation, decides to kill her friends to show that... She's actually on. She's 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 like I'm with you. I I I I'm not one of them. Like there, a desperate child yeah, sort of viewpoint some, of. There's, a, there's something there. And like, then we we develop that her whole idea is I've been doing everything I can to simply survive. And then Kenobi can be the character to be like, and how much of yourself is left? You know, try and reach her that way. That she justifies she's killed loads of children and people all over the planet because she's had no yeah. choice. Classic like, character arc like that. Yeah, like, I was just a child. I was trying to survive. And, like, has yeah, that child like... survived? Well, I I yeah. assumed that they got the Inquisitors from, like, Jedi-sensitive children that they essentially, uh, like, uh, propagandized and mm. brought up in the dark side. I assume that's where they got all these Inquisitors from. So I assume that she was at the temple, got captured, and then was, yeah, it's like yeah, we were yeah. talking about with the Halo show, how right. it's a lot more interesting that someone's actually kind of brought up a certain way and as a result they have particular character traits i assume that that's what it would be they rounded up a bunch of, yeah i, yeah, I assume they, they'd they round up a bunch of these young kids they're, they're young enough to where they're not like super into the jedi thing but they're force sensitive and they're semi-trained in that lifestyle so we can start turning them into inquisitors 
and yeah, that's and what happens. The, the, she totally the, buys into it. The propagandizing of like, you know, we're not the bad guys. The Jedi have been trying to take over the whole world. The Jedi have been horrible. You're not like the Jedi, are you? And then they'd be like, whoa, you know. And you, and then the kids who manage to not like they resist or they fight back. It's like you kill them, you just execute them, and then you change the. But you're right, yeah, that would make more sense. Her panicking and killing a friend to show that she's on the evil guy's side or something. You could do that maybe, but what they've opted for is. I played dead. After I got stabbed, look, it, they've made a joke of being stabbed through the stomach with a lightsaber. Which is amazing, It happens yeah. to her twice, and she lives both times. And then you have the Grand Inquisitor. He gets stabbed through the chest. And as I said, it's the opposite Leia problem. Leia dies because of sadness. He lives because of revenge. And so he's just around now, because that wasn't fatal. Well, they're, they're playing it's on the whole Sith shit. That's the reason Anakin lived, is because he was so fucking angry. <laughs> like, is I'm... Like, I'm okay with it to a degree, but this is getting farcical, where it's like, you chopped my head off, but I was too angry to die. It's like, <laughs> okay. In the real world, if you get stabbed through the gut, I think your mileage really varies of, like, you can be in agonizing pain for, like, ages, uh, or you can just die very quickly. If, ball, if it but... is consistent that being stabbed in the gut doesn't effectively kill you, why do people keep trying to kill each other by well, stabbing so, each other in the gut? That's what I want to talk about. Especially we when should there probably are focus clearly less. more lethal options. We should probably focus less on the fact that she survived that wound, and instead focus on the fact that none of them wanted to kill her for some reason. Yeah. No, they just yeah. left her there. Which again, it's like, Vader, this will bite you in the ass. What are you doing? They left her there. Alive this, with her lightsaber. With her lightsabers, yeah. Isn't that it would be one of the most. It would be one of the most pragmatic kills you could ever have to kill her. Your use of yeah. he literally says like we're done with you, and and it's like yes, but you stabbed her. Also, yes, I yeah, I stabbed her once and it didn't work already. <laughs> also, yeah. the guy next to me, he got stabbed and and that didn't work. So I will say like. I don't know if this is moral, or less, but like just looking at that, it really does feel to me. It's like that should probably be lethal. Feels like that's quite high up and at an angle, chopping through a whole set of uh, well, chopping yeah, through things. Going there, through yeah. her sternum yeah. and her and maybe you, going that, through her her like, spine, her lungs, maybe her spine, maybe even her lung. In which case, like it kills, like a, it melts everything in that exactly. Tube. Well, and he leaves it in everything for a little bit too. It's closed, which is exactly. not, which is no joke. Like stab, stab, well, yeah, stab in and out is one thing. There's no friction keeping it in place with a light. Say, or at least yeah, much less than there things, would be with yeah. a sword. Well, yeah, so if, if, she if she moves, moves at all and yeah. like she falls, she flinches in any way. That's more damage done to her. Yeah, I mean, well, there is there is definitely friction because we see like difficulty from Qui Gon moving it through the metal door in Phantom Menace. Yeah, but, like, there's some. They seem the to glide pretty easily. Well, yeah, but that's that's, that's that's a blast door versus yeah, person like that's exactly. Yeah. yeah, I don't even know if I'm exaggerating if I say every scene has a shaky camera. Yeah, they like their shaking. And I don't know why. It's very it's really because it's cheap, it's intensity without the work at making an intense scene. They're in serene scenes as well. Like, yeah, when it's just, just talking, a calm scene. Like, Ooh, Quick, shake the camera. Shaky, shaky. It's, it's really distracting and I hate it. It's so bad. Oh, we didn't have a layer, I guess. Well, we kind of have. She's just tech expert now. You would think Feels that weird. there... It does feel weird to just have someone of her age who is just the most skilled and capable at opening this this random door, this random jumble of wires on this one random planet. It's like you know how to fix this? How? How do you, how do you know how do you have this skill set? How can you do this? Do you have all the talents? You can't say like nobody can fit through that to get to the literally most important wiring for the escape door. And it's like, why have you built yeah. it that way? That is like, and also anyone can get through that. What do you mean? It's really big. Hawkins probably couldn't. You could probably fucking grab- <laughs> Jabba couldn't. <laughs> Jabba. <laughs> There's plenty of like slender women in your, in your organization here. I'm sure plenty of, one of them must know how mechanics work, please. You right. must have some actual women don't like, know mechanics. How mechanics work smaller. Oh. Well then, how do you explain Leia? Boom. He's a child. She's not a woman yet. <laughs> as soon as Children she gets no 18, that's gone. It's a girl gone. Just vanishes from her brains. Oh, one left. The storm wow, this was annihilated everyone. Yeah, in like I was gonna say like ten seconds. Yeah, typical what? military can total incompetence Man. for militaries, of course. And then they pushed them inside, and they put themselves into like a choke position, and they they still don't really not any of them gets an advantage from that it's really weird because all the stormtroopers come flooding in through this one choke point and still basically none of them die even though you could have just blasted everything in there Shit. they've made stormtroopers a joke when stormtroopers yeah. show up and a star destroyer is up there you should be shitting your pants and thinking yeah. that this is a grave moment of peril we are seriously in danger 
And now they show up, and stormtroopers are so incompetent, and their equipment is so stupid, and they send so little of their forces after you. It's like, oh, we're fine. It's only a Star Destroyer and however many legions of troopers and ships and everything they have. It's fine. We'll, we'll be fine, because they're so incompetent and worthless that it doesn't even matter. And then they, we know they have at least one grenade, and oh, they don't, God, don't use it. Don't remind me. We need her to sacrifice herself for this heroic end for her. And it's like, man, you could have just thrown it Dude, at them. Dude, they were so proud of themselves for her storyline so cringe you can't show us the grenade it's like do you see how many people like even when they were out of the field there were so many of them you could have you probably could have killed like 20 of them in one throw yeah, they weren't Easy. using yeah they didn't set up barricade they didn't stagger themselves in positions to fire they didn't use cover because yeah. no one uses cover you could take this random piece of metal and plop it on your arm and it stops blaster shots but i guess stormtrooper armor is as worthless as ever it's just total complete military tactical incompetence whatever you see in terms of an establishment of soldiers and equipment and positions it never translates into meaning anything no. it's pure what the plot needs to happen there's yeah. never any sense behind anything because when we when, know the point where you see stormtroopers it's like oh they're just gonna die or be worthless. They're not allowed to do anything consistently. Yeah. It's just dependent on what we need to have happen in events. Like, them shooting her, that was something that we all knew they were allowed to do. Because yeah. the plot was like, yep, that one's and okay. And she only got hit the one time while standing in the hallway as a horde of stormtroopers were 20 feet away. She got hit the one time, it's, which it's was absurd. the shocking allowance of the plot. Dude, that fucking loader droid is, like, nailing loads of them, and several of them walk yeah. past him. Like, oh, it's fine. It's fine, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, like when she's on the ground, not dead yet, they should just, as they walk by, they just casually f finish her off and just keep moving. Stormtroopers have been made so worthless. It's all of the Empire. You're never afraid of the Empire. No. Because they're just shit. Yeah. Stormtroopers are coming. Eh, Getting shit up by the episode. How'd you guys take over a galaxy again? Like, yeah. how, how are you? Wonder, what? I wonder how that worked out. We're what, like 85% through this show? It doesn't matter how good the last episode is at this point. Oh, yeah. It's... And it would be a fucking miracle it, for it to be good. What if it fixes Everything. Contextualizes all of it as a dream for Obi-Wan. Yeah, That's the yeah. way we're Obi -Wan go. Obi-Wan wakes no, up, no, no, he's no, back on his cave on all of it in a way that it makes all perfect sense. It's actually very clever. Good luck with that. Not yeah, possible. Luck. Also, did they start a second season of that already? No, so oh, apparently yeah. there's a there was only rumors that they're thinking about a second okay. season. There's nothing confirmed. Weird, I mean, I don't see they, why they wouldn't. They, they like money. And this one they have to know beforehand <laughs> that they have a next season. So this one is a limited series, so... That's how it's been presented, which means it's probably not going to get another season, I guess, technically. Maybe they'll find some other way to follow it up. Maybe they'll yeah. just stick random Mandalorian episodes into it and finish it up. Oh, yeah. Well, the fact that Ewan McGregor said he's on board with doing more stuff, I don't see... It's literally just money on the table. I don't know why Disney wouldn't take it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I say that, but they don't care. If they make some weird or fucking or choices. So, yeah, whatever. I, I don't know if we'll get more of this. I, we don't want more of this, but... Um, no. But like, they don't listen to us. <laughs> oh, fuck no. That was exceedingly frustrating. And Episode this was the one five. that apparently was great. Mm -hmm. this is I one... had people saying, like, wow, this is a really good one. This is really great. And I'm like, oh, I just can't... No, it's no, really, don't... really bad. <laughs> this is really bad, guys. This ruins more than any other episode before. Yay. Bum, ba -dum, bum, See you bum, for the finale, bum. everyone. Hooray. Can't wait for it to be over. I mean, for the finale. Woo. Uh, bu -bu 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 Bye. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. May the Bye. force be with you. Remember when that used to mean something? May the force be with you. Like it had some kind of reverence to it. And now it's just, remember, that's a thing people say. Remember when Akbar, when Admiral Akmar said, May the force be with us. Before the final fight in episode six, it just had this, like, yeah, this is, this is a really serious thing. It's like a, like this blessing, almost this warrior's blessing we're giving you. It's just, oh man, it's going to be rough. This is, this is going to be a tough fight. May the force be with you. And now it's just, that's the thing you say. No. Bye. Hello? What'd you bring me?